I thought I'd do a short live this morning about the deep oscillation tool um, which I have on loan from Physiopod. It's been really fun using it. So the device itself is really nice and small and light. So I've been easy for me to take into my Harley Street clinic. Um, obviously at home, it's really easy to store. It doesn't take up much room. Charge wise, it's been brilliant. I've never ran out of charge. You can't use it while it's charging, but if you charge it, you get 10 hours of use. And what I tend to do with each client is a combination of a little bit of deep oscillation um, and then also using uh, manual therapy without the aid of tools. And I find that then, I mean, I've never got to the end of the day, um, even with a really fully booked clinic um, and found that it's run out of charge. And very often, um, I don't worry if I just let it turn off by itself so it's running for a few extra minutes after I've stopped using it. In terms of you know what's it like to use I certainly it was a bit different for me I hadn't tried using any devices um, previous to uh, trying the deep oscillation tool so that was really new I mean obviously when you go to like big conferences and stuff like that i don't know what you're like but i mean there are often quite like those massage guns i've been given those as gifts i don't really consider those as professional massage tools i think they're quite chunky i don't think you get any feedback or uh, in the same way um on the tissues um that they feel a bit clumsy and a bit clunky um although i'm sure some people do find them really beneficial if you're working on really large sports people um, or people with a lot of muscle um, to try and get through that tissue but that's not my line of work so I haven't found in my case that that this is the kind of tool that would suit me so I wasn't sort of overtly um, thinking that I needed a device but actually I've not been really impressed with what it's been like to use so whenever I need to use the device obviously we need to turn it on and then the way that it works is it creates a current between yourself and the client. You don't have to, you can use just a kind of handheld things so that you don't get any of the current. Um, but it's not something that I particularly feel apart from my hands start buzzing away. So the client needs to have something so that we make a, a circuit. So they can either hold this little dumbbell or um, what I found quite useful is just to place it between the toes, which I thought was a bit weird at first, but um, you're actually less sensitive in your toes. So as long as you're a person who doesn't mind wearing flip flops um, where they've got that little um, thing that protrudes between uh, your toes, then it's not something that feels alien to have something in between your toes. And then from my side, so that the current not only goes through them and comes through me, there's a little attachment. So it's a little kind of sticky electrode, which you can stick on yourself anywhere. Um, and then uh, this just clips onto it so that that connects up to the machine. Now, with this electrode, first of all, I started off using it on my arm. A couple of reasons why I didn't really get on with that. Number one, you've then got the wire, which I like to move around a fair bit. It got in the way. I felt like it was draping over the client. It was a bit annoying. It was kind of irritating me. And also in terms of me getting some sensation from the machine, obviously your arms and that kind of area is a lot more sensitive than other parts of your body. Um, so I had a chat with Julie at Physiopod and said, oh, this is what I'm experiencing. Um, Physiopod's the company that have let, lent me the machine. And what she suggested was, was why don't I give you a, an extension lead, one so you can move around a bit longer. So I've now got a very, very long lead. So I can go all around the couch. Um, and also, um, why don't you try using it on your ankle? Uh, and that's been revolutionary. I've absolutely loved it. It works much better for me. Um, I'm less aware of, of, of any kind of tingling or buzzing, which while it's not unpleasant, it can be a little bit distracting um, initially, particularly when you're not used to it. Um, and yeah, and so if I've got socks on, I can just sort of tuck it inside the socks on my ankle. And um, if not, there's this amazing <laughs> sort of 90s looking um looks a bit like a leg warmer by the time i've got it on my ankle if i go out into the kitchen my husband's like oh this is a new style you're going for emma um so just putting that over just to kind of hold it in place um and make sure that it doesn't come loose while i'm wandering around the table and then yeah and then all you have to do is put on a pair of like totally normal gloves um and through the your gloved hands the client then gets a vibration so it kind of it hums away it's like a little um i tend to sort of say to some of the ladies oh would you like some buzzing today um, and 
everyone's uh, who's who I've tried it with has liked it everyone has said when I've asked them again would you like me just to go back to just doing manual treatment or would you like me to use the machine again they've all said yes um, so I take that as a real positive that given the option you know they would like the combination of the two treatments um, so that's been really interesting and people often then think oh these are like some super expensive gloves that you've got on and that the that the, the change in sensation is coming through the gloves and I have to explain that no it's it's actually all being produced in this little machine and like I say different settings so sometimes it feels like um, quite a quite a quick um, sort of vibration oscillation um, you can feel the slight lifting and dropping of the tissues you have to do it dry um, they recommend using talcum powder if um, the client get, is at all moist um, because obviously the water breaks down the current. So yeah, I, I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i got taken some great before and after photos of one of my clients who's happy to share them. So I'm gonna put those together. She had quite a bad fracture on her arm and um, came to me about seven months after um, she'd had a surgical repair, really frustrated about both sensation and look of the scar and also range of movement for the arm. Um, it's just been uh, really, really impressive, the, the improvement that we've got with the aid of the deep oscillation tool. So yeah, I'm looking forward to continue to try it. Working with a lot of women after breast cancer, it's really great. Um, it's worked particularly, um, a pronounced difference, I would say, from manual treatment alone, when you're working with capsular contracture um, over radiotherapy, um, it, it definitely seems to, if somebody's got an implant or an expander in there, the results that I can get using the machine, I would say maybe it takes half the time of what it would take for me to do, um, get the same release with my hands alone. And certainly what I would say is it seems to be lasting longer for those patients who are suffering with capsular contracture when they've got an implant or an expander and they've had radiotherapy um, and it's all just got locked and it just loosens up um, the breast tissue um, uh, over the implant so much better and it feels more normal, more soft. So yeah, all good. So that's my little chat this morning about uh, deep oscillation and I hope you all have an amazing day. I hope you get out in the sunshine and do something lovely. Um, and yeah, look forward to chatting to you soon.